Wait. Wait a minute. Have... Haven't we... Have we been here before? English. Yeah, no, I definitely feel like I'm doing this for the second time, except with a slightly reduced background hum. Well... Here we inexplicably find ourselves again. So, I was going through me old MDK2 series. Uh... You know, just, just sort of out of morbid curiosity after all this time. Uh, and the, the first three episodes of it were actually done with an... when I was using an older bit of kit, which had a bunch of problems. Like, it recorded exclusively in a format that no editing software supported. Uh, it, it was just a lot of faff. I'd much, I'd much prefer the one I've got now. Uh, but, yeah, it sort of affected the quality, visually, of those earlier episodes. There were a bunch of other issues as well. Uh, the, uh, the, like, the sync was off in places. Well, throughout, really. It wouldn't just be in places. Uh, the game audio was way quieter than I would like. And I should probably just let it be what it is. But there's literally nothing at stake if I don't. So I'm doing it! Anyway. Um... Yeah, did a, did a little bit of a... So I was... My original plan was, as a compromise for this being the second fucking time I'm doing it, that I was going to do it on Jinkies, the highest difficulty setting. Because I wrongly, as it turns out, thought that the difficulty uh, affected enemy placements. It doesn't. The enemies just become more uh, damage spongy. Uh, with, and you take more damage as well. So it would, it would just make it harder to get through the game and decrease my motivation to complete this series that I've technically already done. So... But that's that doesn't mean it's gonna all be exactly the same. Because what I did do was look up cheat codes to see if there were any like fun aesthetic ones. Didn't really find anything. What I did find was a bunch of, uh, a list of easter eggs that I did not know about, so we, why don't, why don't we see if we can find some of those? Let's see if between the two series we can get a more complete look at Earth's only hope, the living Byro. He's here. And he'll get your frogs. Kurt Hectic never wanted to be, a Kurt Hectic never wanted to be your little pog champ. To live out his years in quiet, dignified anonymity. Sadly, it was all the love in the world to this Kurt absolute man. A janitor for Dr. Fluke Hawkins, eccentric man of science. The message was, was tilting at him. Was good. <laughs> What's he doing Hawkins with his hand? That is like, no, no, don't bother me. I'm all in a flask. The doctor had wished for a it's not really a flask, is it? It's more, more of a vial. With janitor in tow, he left and he's like, oh god, this this absolute fucking chud on the internet misidentified my vial as a flask. I'm leaving. I can't take this anymore. Max was the perfect assistant. And he built a dog to punish me, like. him a fine watchdog as well. All was peaceful until the invasion. Aliens from a strange dimension attacked the Earth, arriving on energy streams and landing great mine so There's where the aliens come in, fire five guns at once to erase all evidence of my crime. Dr. Hawkins had That's away. right. Kurt was it was me all along. I'm the reason you're dressed like that. The was you dick Tracy looking ass. He was the Earth's last hope. Kurt fought valiantly, driving to the very heart of the invasion. Shooting the enemy in the, the peppers. A grotesque creature named... Why have you shot Clatt. me on the peppers while the dog stands Kurt near it? Victorious. As their leader fell, the invasion crumbled oh, and the aliens no. retreated their tails between their legs. It's just in like wake, in the dream. The earth battered, despoiled, even ruined, but not beaten. No, not beaten. Now, with the aliens routed and order restored, this is a flask, look, you little shit. Get this down here. Only time Who's making down. the earth sparkle? Come toast, Kurt. You are well. looking at the earth out Jake for sure. Uh, you made that yeah. one up. Well, whatever. Don't sell yourself short. 
Those aliens never knew what hit them. A major setback for them, I'm certain. I feel I can only yeah, swivel at the torso. My legs yes. do not move. It's all over. The battle has taken much from all of us. Drink your oil and smoke it now. <sighs> I just knew it. Nice, cynical and jaded, but with a very lovely gold trim. I feel like the, the targeting reticle was going off the screen. And you were going through your scalp. I hope you're up to saving the world one more time, yes? You sure are quick to send me down. You're I don't like all job. your character portraits Maximum are coming out of this submarine porthole. It's up to you! Jinkies, I'm so proud! You're walking very slowly. I, although I appreciate that Kurt's looking both ways before he crosses the spaceship. Alright. Here we go again, Kurt, me old buddy. Me old buddy, me old chum. I've got chums for you in the chum world. No! You can see the fucking edge of the JPEG. No. God. Doom 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 da 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 there's a tank. I fall from the spaceship now. Do 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 do. Please don't shoot me with a laser beam from the ground. Oh, they're kicking up so much sawdust throughout the wall. It always takes me off guard. He just plummets so far. Where does the rest of that helmet go? Because the front piece looks like it's longer than the back, so I can't imagine it folds in. Is it like the Flash's suit or not? Alright, we're in it now. Before you begin your assault, Kurt, I've got to refresh your memory on how to use the coil suit. Yeah, you've got to you know, really press I down the swivel buttons and then you go. The options menu to choose your favorite like among the different control setups. Oh. Use the the D-pad is analog in and of itself. Oh, you can move in so many wonderful directions. Yeah, so the, the tutorial doesn't tell you what the buttons are. It basically just says, you know what it says in the controls menu. Press that. I do wonder about the reason for that. Maybe it was just for ha-ha funny. Maybe it was so that they didn't have to re-record voice lines for what all the buttons were since this bit's voiced. Uh, but, like, you could have just had the button show up on the screen. Like some games do, and then the character still says you press the, the fire button to jump. I don't know. I'm not a I'm not a games designer, so I cannot speak. This is where we That's all, unfortunately. Use the fire button to fire your chain gun and I could just shoot that sphere controls. in the middle of the Destroy door. Destroy but... those targets in front of the exit. The ritual must be observed. Shoot the floaty men! You'll flip off with all the air out of yourselves. A grenade somewhere close by. Walk over That's comforting to, to hear. Your inventory by bumping into it. It's a very, very bouncy clap clap clam. Looking at all the seafood oysters for you. We contain a portal to hell in all of us. Please don't take our pearls. You don't know what you've done. They'll come and curse you, they'll come and worse you, and then a no don't Right now oh, cool job it. bluff, use you your shellfish fuck. To first select the grenade and then use it. I don't know which control setup you're using, so you'll have to figure this one out yourself. Yeah. I feel like they did this purely so that you could be mocked by one of them. Oh yeah, throw the grenade. I don't even need your pearls, look. Blow up with them. No, there really was hell in that oyster. I'd love to, Look my dear friend. Floating platform in this room. Run towards it and jump on it by pressing the jump button. <sighs> Do some footballer warm-ups. It's time to show you all how much I've learned. Ha! Now 
jump to the I... platform closest to you. <laughs> he looked for a split second like he wasn't gonna make it. And I'd have... I wish it had happened, because that would have been funnier. But... Ho-hum. Here we are, boy. Jump to the next platform. Press and right. hold the jump button and glide forward with the movement Ooh. controls to your target. I've done it. Look. I've done it, look. It's great. I appreciate all the fog coming out beneath you, mist. But you can jump high enough to grab onto the ledge and pull yourself up. Boy, Right. Enough Tasty. jumping around, lad. I've turned on a now flag that's in the middle of the room. In. Stand on it and open your parachute. Is there a reason it had to spawn in? Like we couldn't I guess we couldn't have had our dramatic float through. With that in the way. Come on now. By holding your wiggly bum, wiggly bum, wiggly bum. Ooh, it's me. Oh, the specter of communism. <laughs> I'll tell you something, if I saw that over and over Europe, I'd send the CIA in to destabilize it and then spend decades propagandizing the populace to believe that it fell apart on its own. Let's go! Repair the rift. Now, let's teach you how to use your sniper scope. First, get the sniper grenade, grenade by popping into it. I have it now. While well, well, you're running your mouth, I'm just going to very quickly check this and none of the bonuses I saw in this level. I just want to make sure... No, it doesn't, doesn't seem to be. We're good. Whoa. Now we see the sniper interface. Shoots. Shoot the two small targets on the wall above the door. I can't move forward in the time. Yeah, you can see us in the top right, so you can walk around without falling over the the corpses of those who, who like to die near you. Just in case we're concerned. While in sniper mode, choose your inventory controls to select the sniper grenade. I shoot you. Good work, Kurt. You can leave the room by sniping the door. Show those aliens what you're made of. What not? And I will. And now we're in it. Now we're in it for real. Ooh. <laughs> the strafe button skate maneuver. It's all good times for me. Alright, there's no secret bonuses. I'm all about whatever secret bonuses can be found here. And if you don't believe me... Believe me anyway. This alien specifically seems to be mocking me with the idea that I can't shoot his lollipop through the hole. Really, he has brought this on himself. Entirely. I feel no sympathy for this man. He invaded my planet, blew up Edmonton. And then, and then mocked me with sweets. I've killed more people for less. Right now, the floaty world. Be the one that goes to the top this time. I bet you won't. You're not. And that's okay. Because I'm gonna trick you into doing it. Yes. Yes, it's going up. I saw I saw no real big secrets, but I can at least get on You're not getting the grenade? I'm just getting a series of plums. Oh, I'm not even getting them. I'll get one. I didn't need any of them anyway, it's fine. I will let your 
floating grenades. In the sky, all the things that I want, every day, until it stops being there, which is now, because I got it. So... Deploy! <laughs> I guess you would want to minimize movement if you're attached to this thing that is, like, holding you up. Explode! What if I said to you, perish? None of none of these things seem to be hitting the thing that I've specifically wanted them to. Oh, 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 oh nope. I'm I keep doing this thing in this game where I hold down the wrong buttons and then let go of the wrong buttons as well. And this this causes so many nightmares for me. So many bad in so many brain. So many never be the same. Yes, I hope you're able. I hope you're able to better appreciate the soundtrack. I think it's actually considered better practice to have the audio balanced like I did originally. But I, you know, I make these to sort of re-experience the games more than hear myself narrate. Like I, my voice is just the radio being on in the background, so that the dog thinks someone's home. Like these are made by Snoof for Snoof. To see the games through a snoopy perspective. So what I am realizing uh, right now, uh, increasing the difficulty level did absolutely increase the hit points of these boxes. That's incredible. I I, I feel better about not doing that anymore. I I have limited faith that the balancing of that situation was given. A tremendous amount of consideration. Apparently, the the uh, Dreamcast version like had a real like difficulty problem, and they actually had to bump it down uh, for this release as a result of that. So there we are. We very nearly had the original worst time. Boink. I don't think you see it's making spooky boopy noises, I think. I like this game because you know the 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 soundtrack knows how to slap when it needs to. But there's also just a lot of really good ambient sections. This game's very good at atmosphere. It's a, it's a kind of there's this mix of dark and surreal that I really just sort of gel with. I know you've got coins for me somewhere down all this. Oh. Series of naughty men. I can hardly believe all of the shots you've taken at me. Boing. <laughs> Um, in, the, in the seconds before I just fucked it into a man's shoulder, I was gonna make the comment that, like, I don't know. The, the combat, Kurt's combat anyway, is this sort of like weird ballet. <laughs> very floaty, very boing, very shooty, all the moing. I wanted to say boing again. As, you know, as is my right, but I couldn't justify it at that point. I can't think of another game that's all boingy floating quite the same, and I sort of wish... I sort of wish we'd invest more into the boingy float technology for combat purposes tonight. Oh yeah, yeah you're, not, you're not tricking me into going around this corner too, too much of a hurry. There's funny droid cannon. Oof. When I say bloof, nations crumble. We really ought to get that fixed. I don't think it should be that easy. It is a great thing to have a giant's power, but tyrannous to wield it as a giant. Bloof, 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 bloof. Alright, down in the hole we go. You'll never know I'm here. The realm is full of men. Look at him there. The prick approaching. 
he's a biff. I can throw as many grenades as I If I fire at him normally, he'll see through my invisibility disguise. But I can throw as many grenades as I want. Which is fantastic news for me. Ooh, no! Ho 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 ho! You think... You think it's a matter of catching me, but really, it's a- Ooh! <laughs> you can be easily avoided by a simple application of sideways leg. Firing many bullets! Oh, yes. You've gone now forever. Super train gun. Consider it now. A tin of beans. For, for all your ammunition. Atop the aubergine where we make our plea. An enhanced aubergine was such a good episode title and it wasn't the one I went with originally. I don't know how the fuck I missed that. It just goes to show sometimes a revision is necessary. Because sometimes there's an important aubergine you've missed. Somewhere along the way, you lost what it meant to be here. I honestly don't know if I should have applied the aubergine technician just yet. Thank you for not having noticed me yet. That was very charitable of you. Although I can't shoot you from here. Get you? Yes. I just need a nip at the barrels. You can get fucked. You can get fucked. Har har he who. Yes. This is the octopus room. Well, where, where, where Dr. Octopus Octopus Escape Pod exists outside it. This is the inside of that. We are the sun that is in the palm of Alfred Molina's hands right now. This is what it looks like on the inside. If you look really close uh, in the movie, you can actually see uh, in in the center of, of the of the big uh, reaction happening. You can see a tiny janitor in an untested weapons suit shooting. At Dr. Octopus's tentacle hands from within the sphere. It's a nice little sort of collaboration they did between these two projects. I think it's rather good. Here's a homing sniper shell that I won't use. You. You are here to make me look foolish in front of Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy. The man who's called Jeremy Thrice. Fuck, Jeremy Thrice is a better name. Why doesn't he call himself that? I'll have a word with him about that. Anyway, defeating Dr. Octopus causes the AC to turn on. Aren't we glad we do it all the time? What have we got in the bin? Ooh. Aren't we glad I clambered up and did all the dances? Ooby dooby dooby doo and take all the chances. Bloody love the architecture in there. It's just fun to imagine what all this is for, you know? Like, what's the point of it being alien if it's not going to be weird? Games these days, everything visually feels the need to make sense, and I kind of feel like they've lost something because of that. I want to. I want to just go into these weird dreamscapes again, but no. No, none for me. Nothing. No funny corridors in the weird world for me to snoop through. Have another fucking field. Mortals. Oh no! And you shoot me through the JPEG sky. Right. I'm by myself. It's a very brief reprieve. I think they're still managing to shoot. Oh, flawless! 
the mortar is what you is what you want this for. It has limit. I forgot about you. I forgot about the men. The same window that tracks where you stand tracks the, the bullets in motion, and it's for moments like these. You're killing me again. Oh! Oh! It's what I do to win every day. Every morning I wake up, I go to the side. I eat your friends and I swallow my pride. Oh, you hoo Watch out for me. I'll get you. On BBC3. Kidding, I would never go on the BBC, not even to eat your friends. <laughs> nope. Oh, no. You singed my backside and made me look a fool. I don't much care for you. And there's the earth down there, look. Uh, I still feel the same way about it, like, it looks like ass, but in a really pretty way, you know? Uh. I'm just sort of, like, really just very happy that I'm satisfied with this visually, you know? Pretty great, all told. Plum. It's probably an apple, but plum's fun more fun to say. Shit, I've done <laughs> Every time. Every time, I am a fool. Curses for Punkstrom Binkerton. Yeah, but you won't. You want to secure your victory against me in the in the chaplain's tournament. They get all the cards out of their pocket and they make up a new game. One that transcends the boundaries of what these cards once were. A wild draw four standing alongside the blue eyes white dragon. There's even a couple of card fight ones in there. Fuck it. Specifically the one that's a circus. Because I remember those ones. <laughs> the clowns are more important than the rest of you combined. Oh. Right. Don't forget to collect our weird bonuses on the way out. Get them. Well, it's a bonus. But I want it. Must obtain a sort of strange object to me that contains a black hole. Who the hell? We are most certainly within a dome. <laughs> Look at the sky. Ah, <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. We've gone into a separate dome here. All the twinkly blinks. Oh, I'm facing the wrong way. Here we go. Can I be four? Oh, you! I don't like you, I'm a frog, I'll operate the machine. Better be careful. It's one of those fucking droids from Phantom Menace! I thought I was done with you. There's naughty... There's naughty platform syndrome going on. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, there's there's a lot of the heavier attacks in these games. Just cause gratuitous flashing. So, right, yes, I, I believe I am correct. In, in shooting these to rid the world, 
Oh. I'll, I'll, I'll have to put something at the beginning. That's just, and then that'll be another thing that Jombry Bombry has corrected for, for the Night Swarm. Let me. Let me shoot all the fools who need shooting. Can you, like, sod off? Suck you into the vortex, maybe. Oh, no. Don't shoot me, come on, make it explode. Oh, <laughs> I did a funny twitch. Whoa. Yes, absorb. Absorb the things that I don't need. I can't go into sniper mode until this resolves, because I will be sucked in myself and destroyed. No. Let me let me shoot up the thing I'd rather not question. It's a squid beak, you fool, but from multiple angles. Haven't I no, there we go. You you believe it now. Oh, oh you, you you twizzled me around. You twizzled me around for frog problems. Yeah, so you might, you might come down from on high, but I've got even worse things for you. I, I can just sort of home in. This never occurred to me to blow up a frog like this. Isn't that simpler? It's on me to use the things sometimes. Fingers. Sausages for you. Alright. Doctor, the pilot is gone. What now? I, what? What's that? Sorry, you turn your thingy up. I'm not getting clear signal, my boy. Speak from the diaphragm. Doctor! It's... What? Good. Listen to me. I want you to lie down. Take a break. Relax. What? I can't hear you. I don't want to alarm you, but there's something very behind you. Look, it's conspicuous. There's something behind... what? What? Turn around, you fool! Ow! Whoa. Oh, I'm just too good for my own bad self. Hello, Earth. Who's your daddy? Why? Yes, I am. Again, I feel the need to point out that this was made in the 90s, because I do feel like that explains a lot. <laughs>